Hello all, my name is Dr. Hugh McDermott. I am a board certified PM&R physician and I completed fellowship training in interventional pain management down at Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. Today we're going to be talking about one of the new procedures I'm bringing to the practice, which is a, a posterior approach for a SI joint fusion. So today I have a pelvis with me. So this is the front of you, this is the back of you, this is your sacrum. And these are your iliac bones. So between your sacrum and your iliac bones is what we call our SI joint. It can be a common source of low back pain, particularly if you've already had a lumbar fusion, continue to have pain. The buttock area, if you've fallen, cause some trauma to that area. It can cause the ligaments to loosen and we can get pain here. There's several uh, physical exam maneuvers that we do to identify this as a problem area in addition to the story you would tell us. But once that's been established, the best thing to do is to do an injection directly into that joint to attempt to get pain relief. If you do, then we've identified that as the likely source of your pain. And if you get 50% of pain relief or more with two of those, uh, you would then qualify for uh, this SI fusion device. And it's an implant. What we do is the exact same approach that we use for the injection. So you would be laying flat like such, and then we would come directly into the joint once we have it lined up with a seeker guide wire. Once that happens, uh, we make a really small, like three, four centimeter, just straight line incision around that device to allow the next tools to be able to get into that space. Once all those tools have been placed in sequential order, which we have a video to explain a little bit further, uh, the implant is placed, which uh, if you see this little hole here, uh, we use a little drill to dig that out and then the implant is within the joint and it's only about yay big. And uh, you can do two, you can do one here, one up here, but roughly about 90 to 95 percent of these are being performed with just a single implant, which is great. It's quicker, safer, easier, uh, less complications. Uh, you might have heard some stuff about SI fusions in the past where people came in from the side and that led to more complications. Um, but with our minimally invasive approach from just the back side with a single implant, we're beginning great pain relief results for the right patient. And uh, again, less complications than uh, how this technique used to be several years ago. If you think you have some SI joint pain, please give us a call or come on down to see me and uh, we'll get you checked out.